So very good morning to all the students of class 93 online and as well as offline students. Uh, so we are going to start our revision from today onwards. Okay, our syllabus is done, writing skills, grammar, each and every topic is done. So please be serious in case you have missed any topic in the past or you were not well, or you didn't attend the class seriously. Whatsoever reason, this is the golden chance for you all for the relearning, right? And even if you know all the characters and storyline, it will be permanent in your memory. So please do not skip the revision. This chapter from book Beehive, named Packing, the very first chapter of term two. Uh, let's go through the characters. Jerome K. Jerome, he is the writer, as well as you can say, you can use the word author for him. He's the author of this chapter. And then he had two friends, Harris and George. And then Mont Meresi, it is the animal character of the story. He's a dog, right? So Mont Meresi is a dog. And all three are best friends. You can say quite, quite close friends, Jerome, Harris, and George. Fine. So they are planning to go to visit. And before that, they need to pack their stuff, to pack the valuables and things required for journey. So this chapter is an extract. Please note down the points and then do we will understand this in detail, the storyline, and then I will ask you questions as well, objective as well as subjective. Uh, this chapter is an extract from the book, Three Men in a Boat. In original, a novel was written by Jerome K. Jerome, and that novel was named Three Men in a Boat. Out of that, one chapter was taken, and that chapter is named Packing for your class nine syllabus. Then packing skills are showcased in this chapter, basically packing skills of all three friends. Fine, first of all, author Jerome considers himself to be the best in packing. He thinks that he is the one who is superior than others, who knows the art of packing. No doubt he's better than others, but we cannot call him the best packer. Why? Because he has committed many mistakes. Sometimes, you know, he forgets the things easily. Sometimes he forgets the, his toothbrush, whether he is packed or not, he was apprehensive. Sometimes he forgot the boot, uh, he forgot his boots to pack inside, then he had to pack and repack thrice or four times. We will read, fine. So author considers himself to be the best in packing, but he's not the best, okay? Then George and Harris, after uh, Jerome's attempt of packing the bags of uh, basic things, they offer to pack the hampers. But while packing the hampers like eatables and the things to carry in the handbag, they create chaos, disorder all around. Even Montmorency, last point, Montmorency, the dog, adds into the mess created by Harris and George. So Harris and George already created a mess while packing hampers. They squeezed tomatoes. They were packing heavier objects at the top and lighter at the bottom. That was wrong skill. Fine. So Montmorency will be poking his nose each and every time whenever they're packing and they are searching there for the particular thing. They will be trodding on the butter. They will be squashing the tomatoes. Fine. In that way, uh, then they will be adding up the, putting the butter into the kettle, fine, teapot and all. So th all the chaos are created. They piled up each and everything to be packed at one place. And whenever they were searching for one or the other thing, what they goes was the cold, damp and nose of Montmorency. So he was already entering and poking nose into the packing as well. So that's why this chapter is actually, it, it is humorous. Fine. Humorous means creating humor. Hasi Mazak. Fine. So this chapter is quite humorous in its approach. What happens? Yes, better voice is clear. Please note down this these points. Awas apko clear hai. Okay, fine. So once the author and his two friends, George and Harris, were going on a holiday. Fine, they decided that they will go on a holiday. And author offered to pack uh, the bag as he thinks that he's the 
best packer of this world he can you know do the packing in a very good way so author jerome ke jerome or you can also use the word jerome for him he offers his packing and his friends you know they were very lazy to do anything so they agreed easily without even offering their help they agreed easily ki okay you pack fine the author started packing while george and harris they were resting they did not offer ki okay we will help you and also author did not like this he you know i asked them to pack the bags and immediately they agreed and now they are sitting leisurely without doing anything so uh, he started packing this you can say irritated him the most because you know why he uh, he thought that he will be giving instructions to his friends george and harris that this is the way how to pack and they will follow my instructions and they will pack the bags not i but when he offered his help like that shall i pack they said okay okay fine immediately they agreed so he becomes so irritated who becomes irritated author jerome but he has to do the packing how he started packing but when he finished his packing and he was about to strip the bag uski zip bandi karne wala tha bag ki fine he strapped the bag and after strapping the bag when he was done packed fine when he was done packing harris reminded him that he forgot to you can say uh, pack the boots in so harris is very you can say uh, the lazy character and funny character he should have informed him beforehand when he was about to strap but when he was done strapping the bag then he informs him ki acha you forgot to pack the boots inside so author again gets irritated ki this is the harris thing only only harris could do you know after the packing he is telling ki you have forgotten to pack the boots so after packing the boots you know he again strapped the bag he opened it put the boots and he strapped the bag once again so after strapping second time he was apprehensive means usko yaad nahi aa raha tha vehm ho raha tha ki whether i have packed the toothbrush in or not and this was the, always it happened with uh, jerome that he always forgets whether he has packed the boots inside or not sorry uh, brush to the brush inside or not every time he was apprehensive so he again unpacked and found his toothbrush in dash you tell me uh, the students where was the toothbrush found yes online children you can type in the chat box i will announce your names yes divya wants to speak you can write in the chat box so where did he find yes dipkiti surveen yes shoes in one of the boots he found his toothbrush so everybody knows this answer even arshika everybody is typing fine divya also that's it beta so no need to write any more pushti has also written okay i i will keep on naming the same answer is given obviously so in one of his boots he found his toothbrush and again he packed the bag repacked the bag i must say george and harris then offered to pack the hampers after that ki okay we will pack the hampers at first how did they start packing of the hampers they started after breaking up firstly they broke a cup that was the beginning so you can imagine ki beginning mein cup tod diye to aage kya hone wala so they are not at all good packers they started by breaking a cup then harris packed the bottle of strawberry jam on the top of a tomato and as a consequence tomato got squashed or squeezed fine so strawberry jam was packed which is heavier and tomato you know tomatoes to be kept at top but he kept it at last tomato got squashed george trods on the butter george ko ye nahi pata that because everything is piled up over there on the floor he was walking on the butter he trods on the butter who trods on the butter george please remember harris packed strawberry jam and squeezed the tomato squashed the tomato <coughs> sorry george trods on the butter and got it stuck on his slipper they packed the pies at the bottom pies are also very soft they put heavy things on the top thereby smashing the pies as well cup tod diye tomato squeeze ho chuke hai pies are also gone fine so this is how they have started the packing of hampers okay now let me talk about montmorency the pet dog of author and his friends montmorency was their pet dog he got into the way 
of packing he threw away the things up and down he was also creating chaos he spoiled all the articles by inserting his damp nose everywhere he put his legs into the jam you know the dog was putting his legs in the jam he thought you know lemons were there and he started pretending that lemons are rats he started chasing the lemons he started playing with the lemons and started uh, smashing the then what what happened and uh, he killed three of them three of them means he squeezed those lemons as well as if they were rats so he started ruining the leftover things as well so however amidst of all the chaos they completed their packing by 12:50 pm and then after that they slept after that packing fine so what is the message we get from this play beta what is the message we get from this story sorry what is the message we should not mess up we should know the art of packing patience are you okay magan so uh, it is actually a humorous story a funny story fine that we should you know accept our follies acceptance sabse pehli theme hai acceptance we never accept our follies our mistakes like george ko nahi lagta tha ki wo bhul jata hai and he is not a good packer but he considers him theek hai that when we self praising mein chale jate hain we should accept our mistakes we should accept our follies likh lijiye beta so this is one of the themes clear and then it also gives us an insight that friendship the bond of friendship is reflected through the story as well that if you should trust your friends you should accept your friends the way they are nobody can be same the way you are sabhi different hote hain but you should never break the bond of friendship you should stay together fine and you should fulfill your friendship friendship goals jo hain wo is chapter mein aapko dikhte hain then you should learn the art of packing as well have your things or objects to be put at the last lighter objects to be kept at the top and packing skills every thing which is required during the journey should be kept rather than the unnecessary things fine and you should make proper differentiation while packing rather than piling up everything at a place so art of packing you need to learn so many things we learn out of this humorous story is beta yes don't be lazy also we should not be lazy the way uh, george and harris were sitting enjoying and only you should you know have collaborative efforts work together unity ye nahi ki ek hi friend kaam kar raha hai dusra friend help nahi offer kar raha together you should work so each and every message is clear to you now please uh, give me the answers of these questions these beta are the questions based on sample papers now this is the time to prepare for exams clear yeah. first question is it's my energetic nature i can't help it this is one line it's my energetic nature i can't help it you can note down side by side who spoke this and what does it mean yes ridima who spoke this according to you it's my energetic nature the students who want to speak can raise their hands online students as well yes ridima bataiye jerem yes jerem spoke this this is a correct answer what did the author mean by it yes riyanshika well done riyanshika wrote jerem it means he can't sit idle as before yes so it means it's my energetic nature i can't help it he means to say that jerome ke jerome the author spoke these words he means that he cannot sit free fine and see other people enjoying fine or working sorry he cannot see other people working all alone it's his energetic nature to and you know offer his help he is very helping in nature he wants to get up and supervise people he's not saying that i will do the work he loves to supervise people for when they are working and the author means to convey that also that he is not lazy as his friends are 
तो दिस इज वॉट ही वॉन्ट टू कन्वे इनडायरेक्टली क्लियर ये सेकेंड क्वेश्चन बेटा प्लीज नोट डाउन वॉट वॉज जिरोम इंटेंशन वेन ही ऑफर्ड जॉर्ज एंड हैरिस टू पैक रियल इंटेंशन ये अभी हमने डिस्कस कर ही लिए रियल इंटेंशन वॉज यस पैक द थिंग वेरी गुड आई फॉर वॉट यूर नेम आर्यन सो आर्यन हैज गिवन करेक्ट आंसर that real intention of jerome was to supervise them rather than working himself so that was his intention he wanted to act as a boss he wanted to give instructions to george and harris and he did not want to pack on his own third question is what did george and harris offer to pack and buy already given answer yes to pack the hampers and they did so because uh, they were getting late for the journey then montmorency's contribution to the packing already discussed once again yes he added up into the kiosk he came and sat down on the things just when they were wanted for packing usi cheez ke upar aake baith jata tha which was about to be packed yes his cold dampen nose was into everything he put his leg into the jam he uh, kills uh, lemons as rats he spoiled lemons because he thought them to be mice fine so he he also squatters the teaspoons as well ye sab usne kara tha next is how many characters are there in the narrative name them who is the narrator this is also very easy <coughs> already written on the board jerome harris george montmorency fine long question me What are the humorous elements in the story? Yes, please raise your hand for this. Very important. Because the story is a humor in itself. Yes, Aryan. One, one only. One you will tell. Supervise. and they were sitting idle according to you that is humorous when he offered help george and harris they did not do anything they were sitting idle and that seems funny to aryan yes aapka magan funny element kya hai isme yes they started uh, packing by breaking a cup yes divya has written when montmorency sat on the things when he did yes montmorency's interference into the packing yes yes when not harris george trots on the butter yes sit down when george trots on the butter and finally he keeps it on the chair and he sits on it butter gets stuck at his back also that was also funny fine so aapko really funny incidents batane hai ye nahi ki for the sake of telling only yes if they ask you ki do you think this is humorous story yes definitely it is funny not only in the way they are packing in a bad way that is also funny but the way it is incidents are also quite amusing fine humorous element is added everywhere jo bhi abhi humne discuss kare hain sare aapne discuss kar diye hain beech mein ah who sits on the chair where butter was squatted george sits or harris yes george trots on the butter then they kept the butter on the chair and harris sits over it butter gets stuck to his back so that was the uh, humorous scene fine next question is of the three jerome george and harris who do you think is the best or the worst packer yes brijesh will answer so harris is the worst packer according to brijesh yes why so yes he started the packing by breaking a cup he sat on the butter he was creating chaos and who is the best packer according to you how come yes 
सो यू कैन से दैट बेटा इसमें आप क्या लिखोगे कि नो डाउट ऑथर इज नॉट द बेस्ट पैकर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड but definitely he was better than harris and george because he did packing in a nice way though he did minor mistakes only that he was forgetting to pack the things he was forgetting whether he has packed the toothbrush or not but packing skills were not bad he was not doing the that heavier objects at top or lighter at the yes he was not breaking the things as well he was packing heavier object at last and lighter at the top but only the minor mistake is he was forgetting the things whether he is packed or not and he had to pack or repack the bags once again okay so we consider author jerome as the best packer of all next uh, question is beta see every chapter has base questions you know and there are only four to five questions which carry the base of the whole chapter So you should know the answer of all your short and long questions will be done. What does Jerome say was Montmorency's ambition in life? What do you think of Montmorency and why? So this is a kind of character sketch of Montmorency. But before that, what does Jerome say was Montmorency's ambition in life? क्या ambition is dog का? He has made a statement about that. Anybody from online children? You can raise your hand. I'll unmute you, beta. Offline children, sab ki turn aa chuki hai do do baar. Online children, please raise your hand and do send your notebook uh, as well. Yes, Divya wants to give the answer. Please speak, Divya. Montmorency's ambition in life is uh, is to get scolded or get beaten by someone once a day. What else? One thing you are missing here, Divya. Yes, his day is not made. Yes, if he is not scolded by anyone, very good. Okay, fine, fine, fine. So, uh, everybody has given one point. Our question is done. Let me conclude by adding up all the points. Jerome says Montmorency's ambition in life was to get in the way. of each and every person fine montmorency was a mischievous little dog who loved creating troubles for others fine and i think montmorency was a nuisance because whenever he found people busy with their work he tried to get into their way he tried to spoil their work he felt proud in such situations that he is troubling others so he wanted to be the center of attraction actually that i am creating the chaos and please scold me in that way so his day was not made unless and until he got scolding by the people so he felt really relaxed after disturbing people and he was such a mischievous dog he was indulged in many notorious acts <coughs> okay beta is it clear to you all